Hello everyone, it's me Latvia. Today we are going to learn about feedback, mistakes, and correction. Sometimes in learning the target language, the students make mistakes. And there are two major errors of the students in learning target language. First is a one interference if language interference. When the students make an error or a mistake, it can be influenced by native language. For example, most of the French students make error in present perfect tense since present perfect tense has similar pattern to French language. The second is developmental error. So de developmental error is an error that occurs when the student attempts to build up hypothesis about the target language on the basis of limited knowledge or experience. For example, the teacher is teaching simple past tense to the student. And then the, and then the teacher will say, we have to use FOC2 in simple past tense. When the students are making error in changing the verb one to the verb two, for example, go become good, that's called developmental error. If the student make error or mistakes, the teacher has responsibility to give the students feedback to give correction to the student, and then how to correct the student error, especially in speaking. There are two techniques that the teacher can use, online, on the spot correction, or offline, after the event correction. On the spot correction is a technique in which the teacher encourage the student to correct the student mistake by themselves. Once the student make an error or a mistake, the teacher will give the students a clue. If it is, doesn't work, the teacher can use reformation. For example, the student make mistake in saying, my dad got to work yesterday. And then the teacher will say, oh, so your dad went to work yesterday. That's called on the spot correction. After the event correction is a technique in a which the teacher let the student to make mistakes during the teaching and learning process. And during the teaching and learning process, the teacher should make a note, should make a note of the students. Then at the end of the teaching and learning process, the teacher will explain about the student along with the correction. That's how to correct the student error, especially in speaking. And then how to correct the student mistake or the student error in written work. There are two techniques. Use correction, use correction symbol or let the student in. Use correction symbols is the simplest way in correct the student's right work. The important thing that the teacher should consider is while giving the correction symbol to the student's right work, it must be followed by the by the explanation, so the student will learn from their mistakes. Let the student in. So, let the student in technique can be done by applying peer feedback through. Things to remember we cannot give the student arbitrary feedback, therefore, we can have to give them supportive feedback, whether in the spoken or written word. So in a given 
in giving feedback to the student, you have to give a clear feedback to the student. So the student can learn the, from their mistakes and they will know better about the correction. So I think that's all about feedback, correction, and mistakes. If you have any question or comment, you can drop it in the comment section below. See you in the next video. Goodbye.